Johnson Valley. This is Marie's Kitchen and welcome. As you can tell, I am not in my kitchen today. I am in Buell, Idaho with Jeff and Cheryl Cohen who own a trout farm here in Buell. And this is Roxy who is three weeks old. So let me take you on a journey. I am in front of 10,000 trout. And here's with me, Jeff, who owns this farm, the trout farm, and he will explain to us what is going on here, Jeff. Explain to us where we are, how you became doing this. When I was about 20, mm -hmm. then I hired on to a local trout farm here. Worked for them for about 10 years before I decided to head out on my own. Go solo and explain to me, we talked a little bit about this. To me, what fascinated, what was fascinating to me was the pure water you have here in this little place. Okay, so yeah, we're in the middle of a desert. You don't expect to find trout in the middle of a desert. Correct. But when this, when the canal system was brought into this country in the early 1900s, okay. the water table came up and created swamps out in the fields. So they had to do something with it. With that, they blasted tunnels, or some places they might call it tiling. But here, these are a lot of these are actual tunnels that you could stand up in. Oh. And they're down below the surface far enough to where the water coming in is pure. And the water that these fish are swimming in is water you can drink. It's clean, it's pure, it's as good as it gets. These springs, even though the canals only run it during the summer months. These springs run year round. They do fluctuate because of that fact that we have water year round. The water is a constant 58 degrees, which is exactly what trout like. So I know this is three weeks old trout, correct? That's how long ago they hatched, yep. Yeah. Okay. I get these in as what they call eye trout, meaning that you can see the eye through the, the eggs, trout eggs are transparent. So when I get them, they are what they call eye trout. You can see the, the fish inside the egg. And they're usually about a week from hatching. So I have them about a week in the incubators. And then they hatch out. And then they'll live off of their egg sac for the first week or so. Okay. And so these fish here have been eating commercial feed now for about two weeks. Oh, talking about feet. Can I show our viewer something? Sure. Jeff? So we were feeding them. So this is like, and this is some food that you get here locally. That's right. It's, okay. made, it's made in the town of Beale here. Nice. And we, you probably won't see that on the camera, but then I will show you another trick that Jeff showed me. And I was like, wow, what is those little creatures? Look at this. Look how fast they're going to run for food. When they're done with this first step, where, uh -huh. do you, where do you go? From here, we go to they grow out farm or they take, we start out in fry pond. So they, they do go from here into another building where they're raised until what we would call, I don't know if you call them fingerlings, but we, they all raise them up until they get, well, we go by fish per pound, but they'll, they'll be on average, oh, maybe five or six inches long, and then we move them outdoors from there to finish growing them out to harvest. And we, we're going to show our viewer because we're going to go That's there right. a little bit later. So yes. oh, look at this, they're like, okay, now can I do something, Jeff? Do I have permission to just grab a few oh, of those absolutely. little guys? Oh, yeah, we're going to use that. Look at that. I'm not going to keep them long because they, look at those little things. Aren't they adorable? They have good trout in Idaho. We do know that. So, and I want to show you a little trick. Can I do that? Yeah. Oh, certainly. So there is food over there. It is completely different. And look at this. We're going to mm -hmm. stick them. Yeah, I don't know if to, I can if do you it. Can get it to stick to the side. Here, maybe you can do it better than me. Look at that. And they don't jump. They know the food is there. Look at that. Look at that. They're jumping. 
Yes. You'll have to get that a little closer, but you have to push it down just a little bit closer, but yeah, they'll... They will get them. Oh, look at that. Oh, see? <laughs> they know that feed is there. Yes. They can see it. All right, now we are back. Whoops, splash, splash, splash. We are back here in the, what we call trout farm per se. Right, Jeff? Am I right? Because we left the babies behind us and now we are here. Yep. We're here at the farm. At the farm. And this process... We raise our, raise our trout in raceways. That's where we, the final product, so to speak. That's right. Yes. So from here, they will go to... To be processed. To be processed and to be sold. That's right. To different areas. So now we, we want, we're going to do a recipe and you want me to get um, three of them? Yeah, see if you can grab a couple. All right. Oh, oh I think I got it, Jeff. Oh yeah, my gosh. Got him. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my God. Do I have three or four? I have four. Should we let, four. Let, let, let one out? Yeah. We need only three. Oh my gosh. Go ahead, Jeff. Huh? Go ahead. There. Okay, now we are taking them, right? Yep, that's right. Oh, right, we are taking them, Jeff, and they're happy. <laughs> I got it. When life calls for necessary add-ons, your home can pitch in to help with a new home equity line of credit from D11's bank. This is living on a whole new level. This is Community Banking. Better food, better price, better service. Atkinson's Market, supporting local farmers since 1956. Let the event dazzle your guests by creating a sensational experience. Let the event take your party over the top. All right, we are back from the farm, the trout farm, and I'm here with Jeff still. Now we're going to cook the trout. We have two beautiful trout. Actually, we have three of them. And... Jeff, you are going to teach me how to fillet those little guys. I'm going to try. I'm, right. new, I'm new at this too. I'm just right. learning myself. And we have gloves for, for protection just in case. And to help grip the fish because fish are slimy. Yep. So I'm so going to follow you. We're going so to hold that open to start with. Yes. And you're going to slip this knife in okay. right underneath the, the, the bones. Underneath the bone. Yes. I like to hold my Oh, this always gets caught on there, so you can either cut that off ahead of time. Okay. Or you can just hold it down with your finger, but okay. slip it just underneath the bone. Yes, sir. And just start, just keep your knife okay. right up, right up against, okay. against the bone. Don't worry about working it fast and don't worry, about, and don't go try and cut deep yet. We'll, we'll cut deeper later. Yeah. So we just cut right, through the bones. Right now, yeah, just keep your knife right up against the bone. Okay. This is not an easy process. But... <laughs> Until you learn. It gets better with time, trust me. It's I'm... definitely not aesthetic <laughs> as far no. as I'm... But, so... but, let me tell you, I'm getting there. I'm so you can, getting... you can stop and watch if you want to. Just... Then when you get back here to this fin... Yes. You got it. You learn kind of by by feel, and I probably won't get it right now either. Okay. But just, just take it. Okay. Okay, so now... Once okay. you once you get it to that point, then you hold it back on its back like this, well, so you can see. What do you think, you... Chef? Look at this. Well, yeah, this one yeah. could go. Yeah, just just yeah. take and, and cut it cut it this way though. Just just always always work from here and take small bites if you need ah, to. Ah, yeah. But just, but yeah, just. Yeah, yeah not, I think it's not yeah. too bad for a first try. Not bad at all. Give me some credit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Flip. Okay, so now we're gonna just hold it open like that, so you can yes. see what you see what you've got. Yes, sir. And then we're just gonna start cutting, cutting oh, okay. down. Okay, okay. And we're gonna cut right down through what they call the the, the pin bones. Okay. And just just take it in in slow cuts like that, and okay. we'll go all the way down okay. till you hit the cutting board. Okay, sounds good. Ooh, I can hear the. Yeah, we'll cut those bones out later. Those are what they call pin bones, and we'll get those later. Okay, so you should should be just about about to this point now, where it's just laying open like that. It's still attached and, by the skin. But when you and of course a good knife is always this little thing is giving me trouble. <laughs> My knife isn't as. Is that okay? All right. Look oh, at you're this. See, well, yeah, I you have, cut oh. you, you cut to. Oh. Yeah, you cut through the backbone. 
So see your... Yeah, well... You're left-handed, I'm right-handed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right-handed, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm left, I'm left, I'm oh. left-handed. But just, just take it, it should okay. cut easy. You shouldn't have to put, you shouldn't have, shouldn't take I much shouldn't pressure. shouldn't force. No, you yeah. shouldn't have to use force. Okay. Okay, so then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna just go straight in. Okay. And we're gonna cut, cut this way and come right up to get rid of this fin. And you see then the flay is just laying open. Oh, no, 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 no. This is way too... Okay, hold on. Hold on here. Like this? Like this? Yeah, and just come oh. like, stay, stay on this side of the fin, though. You don't want this fin on there. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, just like that. Yep. Okay. And, and yeah, you, you want should... it flat until it's, it's flat like yeah, this. Yeah, it, it should lay flat. Yeah. And then, then we'll just take and we'll just remove it like that. Okay. Oh, look at this! Look at this shit! All right. Okay, so now, if you look look here, you can feel more than you can look. If you run from the front, you run your hand down, and you'll feel exactly where there's a row of bones there. Uh huh. Well, maybe I have the wrong fillet. This one. Well, it's this one. Is, <laughs> I did such a poor job that I this, don't this have one, any. This one here, yes. you definitely can yes. feel it right, yes. right there, and you can also For see it a little sure. bit. For sure. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little V cut out of that. Just, just run pretty close to it like that. And you'll definitely waste a little little meat this way, but it gets rid of those little hair. There's a bunch of little fine bones in there. And again, you just take it down to the skin. You don't want to necessarily cut through the skin, but you want to take it down to the skin. This is a part that I'm definitely still learning on. I don't know I, if I can do this part, um, Jeff. I really can't. I'm gonna cut this. This I can do for sure. This I can do. You watch those ladies in the processing plant, and I just marvel. They'll do this in a few seconds. No kidding. I believe you. But anyhow. Oh, oh, oh. I and see you can, what you can You can see I, I missed a few bones there. You can see them. Yeah. And so I... So these aren't going to be... We'll have to pick through the bones when we eat these a little bit, but... That's okay. I don't that's mind. A lot, it's a lot less than you would have if you didn't flay them. We have to, to clean up here. This is this is a Marie's kitchen <laughs> in, in in a different setting, so it's a little bit kind of tricky. But we will be back. When life calls for necessary add-ons, your home can pitch in to help with a new home equity line of credit from D Eleven's Bank. This is living on a whole new level. This is community banking. Let the event dazzle your guests by creating a sensational experience. Let the event take your party over the top. I moved out to Idaho four years ago. So I met a lot of people and, and I really, really like it here. You know, if you don't have something like that that brings you into other people's lives, it takes a long time to get to know people. Okay, Jeff, now we're back. We did the filet. You can tell that's yours. And that's mine. Barely. <laughs> They're beautiful though. So look at this. So this, we picked the two filet who has about the same, you know, thickness. Anyway. Yeah, so they cook close to the same. Yeah. So tell us about the recipe, how to do this. Okay. What I like to do. Yes. Is we sprinkle it with the with salt and I tend to not get it salty enough. So if you want to go ahead and sprinkle it. Okay. Do that You're used so to... a little bit of salt and pepper okay yeah, pre... i love trout i love you're we used eat... to cooking it you know how much salt yeah, to put we, on it probably we... more than i do i don't have to fillet them but we <laughs> eat a trout once a week okay for sure. yeah that should be good now and this is lemon lemon pepper yeah that's lemon pepper yeah and i and love pepper yeah but... sprinkle it on a little heavier uh, than that probably a little bit heavier and i thought i was going heavier but yeah. I, I always tell our viewers okay yeah that's... if you you know whatever you you feel about it. If yep. you don't like too much the lemon yeah, side. You, just, you learn as you do it. Yeah. Definitely. And then how that's that's all. From there you just lay it on the grill. So you're gonna grill. Yeah, okay? we're gonna I'm grill. I'm gonna be your sous chef and I'm gonna hold this for okay. you. How about that? Okay. And you have spatula here and there and your hands is even better. I like that. Perfect. And then we're gonna cover the grill. We're, we're gonna cover the grill. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna if you're there. like me, we'll We'll check it every two or three minutes. There and... you go. That's the way to go. So, and as soon as it's cooked, we'll, we'll be back for another little step of the recipe. So, see you in a, in a minute. 
Okay, now we have almost the first step, Jeff, done. Yep, just and about. And those two fillets has been in on the grill for five minutes. Now we're going to put what? One tablespoon of butter here. One tablespoon of butter. Okay, I'll do that for okay. you, Chef. And, oops. If you can. Yeah, yeah if I can. <laughs> there you go. The grill is already warm. We're going to melt that. But now this is where it's different than anything else I have done before. You are going to add some apple juice in here. Yeah, right? cider. Homemade apple cider. cider. Okay. In this case, homemade cider, but homemade any app, cider, if I you can... don't have access to that regular apple juice, we've used it too and it works out fine. Yeah, another thing I just learned, we were just talking about the apple cider, you make your own apple cider. Yes, we do. Wow, it's amazing. And you just like, this is about, I will say. Just enough to float cup. the play. It's about <laughs> alpha cup. Yeah, and, and we, then, as as it's cooking if it starts getting thick we add a little more okay but what you want here it's uh the apple cider has to be warm yeah which that's that i it's, think uh, is, yeah because the thing yeah, is I think uh, it's, okay so i now, think it's good so that. now we're gonna it's go good. ahead and we're gonna look at my filet falling apart because no, that was mine. mine will too when i pick it off yeah no this is yours looks perfect we're gonna put it there Nice. Oh, that looks so nice. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, where I Yay! cut the, where I cut the pin yeah. bone out. Yeah, that's. So that is a beautiful. Pin it'll be bone in more pieces. Yeah. Time I flip them a couple times in here to get them coated. So, and how long are we keeping this part of the recipe? Like two minutes, Just three minutes. I never run a timer. Yeah, that's tough. I know. <laughs> when, when the cider starts to get thick. Oh, okay. So you want to reduce the apple yeah, cider. Yeah, we want to reduce okay. the apple cider till the cider starts to get okay. thick. Uh huh. Oh, that smells. Oh, it smells so good, that apple cider. I have to have a glass of that one. Um, you're going to start some harvest market this summer, right? Yes, we're yes. hoping to. Brand new for us. Yeah, and I just heard Ketchum, Haley, Eagle. That's right. Those are the three places for this year. All right. Well, I cannot wait to come and see you at the farmer's market. Yeah, you were telling me you work there I, too. So. No, I'm not working. I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> same, it's will, the same thing. Yeah, you're still I, working yeah, there. That's even, true. Just because you don't get paid for your that's work, true. you're still working there. But I will be there also this year as a volunteer for the Senior Connection. We're going to sell some daffodil bulbs uh -huh. because we're going to have a daffodil festival next year. So I'll come and say hi, Jeff. Yeah, you do that. Yes, absolutely. And we will put the information on the website so people will have all the information. They can call you. Uh, where can we find your product? Directly to the farm. Yeah, and I will have my contact information okay. with me there. All right. Yep. All right. And any question you have? My name or... and my phone number and everything will be on banners on my booth. All right. Just about ready to go back on the grill. So, okay, that was my next thing. So when this is ready, when you think this is caramelized yeah, it's, enough. Yeah, basically gonna... when you've, when the juice is evaporated yeah. and you can see that there is a bit of a brown coating yeah. on it, and it's just gonna go on the top rack just to keep, just, it's not gonna go down on the flames. It's gonna go just, on so it's not quite so hot, just okay. to like, more that to keep good. it warm. Mom, so good. See, that's what we want right yeah, there. Just it's that. caramelizing. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm... Okay, Chef, I'm going to open the grill for you. And if you want, I can take this. Wow. Now it's... Now it's just, a, just, the war just the warming rack now. Until it's time to serve. Well, my experience is it'll probably get... When it gets dry enough to where you can pick it up with your fingers without getting too messy, then it's done for sure. All right, so we're, so we're closing just, that. We're closing it. We're leaving the grill just on low. All right, and we will be right back. When life calls for necessary add-ons, your home can pitch in to help. 
with a new home equity line of credit from D11's bank. This is living on a whole new level. This is Community Banking. Better food, better price, better service. Atkinson's Market, supporting local farmers since 1956. Let the event dazzle your guests by creating a sensational experience. Let the event take your party over the top. And welcome back for my very favorite, favorite part of the show. We're gonna take the trout out of the grill. And the reason, Jeff, you put it back on the grill to remind me? Just to help caramelize it. A little bit more. Yep, and that's I like a, it a little bit drier. That's okay. me. Everybody's so, different there. All right, so let's let's get back a little bit. If you don't want to put it back on the grill it's, as soon as it caramelizes, you, you don't have to. Oh, no. It's a preference. No, that is totally a preference. Yeah. All right. Okay, chef, I'm going to open this. You're going to take it, and then we're going to taste. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, and it smells so good. Just in case it falls. There you go. Should we turn this off? Yep. All right. We're done with this. Okay. And your wife um, brought all of this. So I'm going to have a tiny piece. I want this one. You want this one, Jeff? Which one do you want? No, give me the little thinner pieces. I like this. The, yeah, this? I like the little drier ones. That's just Can my I? preference. I like all right. Yep. Me, I like it a little bit moist, actually. My wife does, too. All right. So. Now we're going to chain i'm gonna do this you did that and because we're outdoor we're in the farm uh we don't need fancy whatsoever dig in okay i'm going for it my gosh this is that okay it's delicious i don't even tell it's trout it's so good i i mean i really like it and you you have the taste of the, the fish, in this case, the trout, and the apple cider sauce doesn't overpower the fish. It's really good. I will, I will cook this with mashed potatoes. Which, what would you use? We normally fry them. We like them fried. Okay, the them. potatoes. Yep, yep, we like to fry potatoes with it. I will do yeah. with, um, definitely with uh, apple sauce. This is a solo, a farm, trout farm, and it's a family business. And we would like to encourage you guys to really support local farmers. In the meantime, you know, cooking is love for me. Help, you know, help the economy, the local economy. Just go and buy local and sit around a table with family, with friends, take care of each other. And until next time we see each other, take care of yourself. From my kitchen, actually from Jeff and Cheryl's kitchen, here in Buell, to your kitchen, au revoir.